Welcome to a how-to video for Panzer Corps II. This one is going to detail the camouflage hero. You'll note here I have a, a camouflage hero on and on a six round uh, five centimeter pack 38. The camouflage hero can be detected by recons or adjacent ground units. Can be detected by recons or adjacent ground units. Okay, so what we have here is this unit can only be detected, I'll say for a third time by recons or adjacent ground units. As we have our uh, camouflaged anti-tank with six rounds located centrally, surrounded by fragile units of our own, that rules out the adjacent unit part. That leaves only recons that the enemy will be able to find or detect or know of this thing's whereabouts. I have uh, been surveying the, the territory and picking off the recons with um, the Rudel in a 109Z. Double attack ignores entrenchment. This bomber does very well as well. So you'll note there are none. Which means that these uh, this armored column is essentially going to implode on this lot here. Um, the infantry uh, are going to move forward. Uh, I have flame tanks in the rear. I have a fragile 8.8... Flak 36 here, 950 prestige or thereabouts. I'm pretty sure they're going to go right for it. Have artillery here. They're probably not. They're probably going to take that as uh, take exception to that as well. They're not going to have any kind of success. Uh, these guys are going to run into this flame tank. Uh, cavalry versus uh, flame wagon doesn't work out very well. Um, now here, on the other hand, this is a problem. Uh, we should probably we can't move up for him. We'll take that cavalryman out. We'll get the heck out of this area. Let's hit the turn and carry on. So these guys are going to move up. I don't think they'll be able to get at the 88 with the zone of control here. Our Azul infantryman. There's one tank down. Two tanks down. Three tanks down, four tanks down, and five tanks down. Okay, so they they did go right for the uh, 88 gun. It's my uh, computer fan. It gets overheated during the summer. Oh well. So uh, this is a 950 prestige or thereabouts. They're going to go for it again. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I expect all of these tanks to head right here this next turn. And um, this thing will probably pop off it as well and, and do something. Let's see if we can um, take these guys down a peg or two. And um, get these infantry off of our backs and such. Uh, 14, I see. Let's see. Well, there's that. We can move you. Um, let's see. We want to move. Uh, let's see. Can this cavalryman get there? He can. So we want to take him out and just leave the armor there to um, implode. That um, this. Uh, Artillery piece needs to go as well. That leaves anything dangerous here to our 88. Uh, we'll get uh, interdicted by the zone of control of our blue infantry. This guy won't move. These guys can't do it. Let's see if we have anything over here. There's nothing to worry about. And we'll send you up in this direction here as well. So, again, there are no recon cars. There's no infantry. There's really nothing going on much of anywhere. We'll send you out, we'll send, just to be sure, we'll send you forward here. Yep, there's no way this cavalry, only well, he can get at the 88, can't he? Go right here and then boom. All right, well, we're gonna send our um, Panzer one or 3N with artillery support right here. That's going to make um, our 88 less attractive to this cavalryman. 
as this unit here has artillery support so there's nothing that these guys are going to be able to do of, of any consequence to this 88 gun and it's going to draw all these tanks in and they're going to do away with themselves let's uh, move you down here you down here and hit the button these all these this lot here should essentially implode One down. Two down. Three down. Oh, he survived it. Oh, he's down now, though. And do I hear four? Four down. Five down. And six down. You never know when you need six rounds. That would have been a catastrophe of no small magnitude had that anti-tank weapon only had four rounds. Uh, that's about the uh, all that need be said regarding the camouflage hero. Um, a lot of people like to put it on uh, anti-air weapons. It's fun to put it on anti-air weapons. Uh, four planes, like this, this 88 gun here has four rounds. And four planes will come and essentially destroy themselves, but Oftentimes there's more than four, like a fifth will come, and then a sixth will come, and then they'll discover the 88 gun proper, and then the seventh will come and bomb it, and it turns into a catastrophe, because these things are very expensive. Once the four rounds are gone, you've got uh, 550 prestige here with no protection, and a 900 and some on here with no protection as well. So um, the thing is, it's... Uh, like again on the anti-air it's why I only put them on six round anti-tank is uh, say an, an airplane comes down and, and tries to attack this artillery boom one gone another boom two gone another boom three gone another four gone and now this thing has no rounds and then the enemy essentially has its way with this artillery and can then stumble on any of these other units and bomb at them as well so if you have an 88 gun a potent 88 gun like this thing with the times two rapid fire hero lethal attack and they see it they're not going to send another plane so one of their planes gets shot down and then we have three rounds in reserve and the enemy doesn't send any more which leaves our formation here intact for the enemy to implode on which you just saw this thing destroy i think 11 tanks or anti-tanks and such so we essentially just won the scenario with this one maneuver here and uh, we, we could hold this position for some time. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you in the next one.